Oh do you guys no. have any, any any? Do you know how many large midgets are in this film? Mm, there are many midgets. Oh my! <laughs> I am already outraged. I'm going to be making a video: SJW moments in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> There's a surprisingly amount, a large amount of midgets in this movie. Tell also, this is because women. of the SJW agenda. There are women in this film. Fuck. Yeah. One of them even kills a Nazgul. You don't realize how SJW that is? Oh, wait, it happened in the books, too, 50 years ago. Ooh. Aragorn, trans queer lesbian. <clears throat> Recently, and I like how cast. everyone was uh, saying that when Amazon got rights to the series, they are going to make Aragorn like a lesbian, and Frodo <laughs> and Sam were going to be gay, and they were going to, like, fuck at Mount Doom or something. <laughs> <laughs> like the opening fucking credity thing is is just it's not about the plot at all. It's it just keeps introducing characters and then like what gender and sex they are, and you're just like, why? <laughs> <laughs> like they have the Twitter bios with their pronouns, and everyone's like, white, he him pronouns. <laughs> <laughs> Boromir of House Non-Binary, Osmic Gay, <laughs> House Non-Binary. <laughs> do 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 do. <laughs> Immortal, wisest, and fairest of all beings. Wisest? So Fucking dwarves, hell, Wolf, what is this? Great miners and all the elves happen to be white? Dwarves. Okay. Hey, at least the dwarves and are all nine. old men. Nine they were all Holdars up. And so were all the all else, humans. They were all also old men. We, they all lined up to take a picture. So rivers, the old the cis white males are in power. Okay. One ring. Ring. It's really ring. hard to melt that shit, by the way. I love the detail of like e even the orcs, like all of their armor has like black speech written on the gauntlets, but you can't tell because it never draws attention to it, but it is there. Elrunde! Ringen Hingen! They may take our lands, but they'll never take our freedom. If this opening, you know, eight minutes weren't here, this film would have been better. This is just wasting our fucking time. Like, I don't need to read a fucking book just to understand the plot, Jesus. You just what do you want? Just like three and a half hours of world building? Yeah, like oh, with all the complaints you guys have, I'd expect them to have had another film before this one just to set everything up. Yeah, maybe we should just read the Expanse since world building isn't plot. You're a world building. Oh my god, I hate Chuck Wendig for saying that because it's like people are gonna look at that and be like the huh, the Expanse, and it's like no, the Expanse is really good. The Mate, anybody really takes Chuck Wendig's Chuck words an idiot. is probably a lost cause already. How come the ring keeps betraying people, Wolf? Explain. It's a microcosm for capitalism. Oh. Makes sense. That doesn't look anything like fucking uh, Martin Freeman. Imagine the actor uh, Ian Holm was like upset that they didn't call him for the Hobbit trilogy. <laughs> it's like, why can't I do it? It's like, you're too old, mate. He's like, you have the aging technology, what the fuck? <laughs> Can you imagine if um, they... George Lucas ified this oh, and they like superimposed Martin Freeman over that scene. <laughs> I mean, they could have re recorded the scene or actually used the scene from The Hobbit there in like a newer version, but I'd just be like, there's no need, go away. Also, the back to that chair does not look that good. There and back again. He went there before. Explain. He went there and then he went back again. No fucking sense. I hate this fucking movie. Oh my god, more world building. Jesus fucking Christ, get on with it. Funny, because I could watch like a documentary about Middle Earth. <laughs> David Attenborough is like, Here are the hobbits collecting wood. Oh god, he's going at his first draft, Mahler. Oh no. And the smoking of pipe weed. We like to get lit before we get drunk. I love the idea <laughs> that everyone knows in Middle Earth, it's like, oh, you want the best weed to go to the Shire. <laughs> yeah, everyone knows, yeah, the best sweet weed. <laughs> Even the orcs at Isengard have weed in their stores. <laughs> you want that orc weed? Nah, man, that shit. Like, post-war, post they're like, we have some, it's like, you guys are fucking evil, though. Like, oh, but no, after the embargo, not after the tariffs they imposed on Mordor following the War of the Ring. Fuck no, that shit would be way too expensive. I wasn't even in the fight, guys. I, 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 I was against it. Oh, no. <laughs> after just describing how lazy hobbits are, he's like, where is that boy? <laughs> oh yes. I love that shot with Gandalf laughing and like bobbing his head up and down. On they yeah. turned it to a meme. Where it's like, <laughs> how goes the flower crop this year? Very yellow, sir. I look at some of the shots in the Shire and wonder how the fuck they did half of this. And then I look at shit like Aquaman and it's like, where'd the effort go? <laughs> Didn't isn't this place like still maintained? 
attraction. Yeah, this is like an actual tourist attraction. There's always been a Baggins living here. It's, I think there. you can go to like most Baggins. of the locations in New Zealand that they film these movies in. Yeah, you guys over exaggerate. Movies are getting worse. Like, yeah, they are. <laughs> <laughs> they are definitely getting worse. Bilbo's been a bit odd lately. I think he's caught the game. He's been inviting <laughs> people over to his <laughs> hobbit hole. You know what? Some of these shots are rude for me because I used them for Goodell too. I can't think of him as anything other than Bilbo's Bungleton, though. <laughs> he keeps asking me if I want to get Bilboned, and I don't know what that means. <laughs> Yeah, because Gandalf already knows about the ring, right? Uh -huh. Fucking stupid Hobbit movies make him look like a retard with this. He's like, Gandalf, you should already know about this. I remember because I always found it odd when I'd finished the Hobbit movies that Gandalf did nothing about it this whole time. He was just like, eh. Does he argue that it's like he thought it was just a random ring of power or something? I think that's the argument, yeah, but it's really stupid. <laughs> And I like the idea that Gandalf, after fighting dragons, he's like, I'm gonna go into the firework business. That's not just any smoke coming out of those Hobbit fireworks. It's that <laughs> dank Hobbit and cookweed. <laughs> Don't sniff the fireworks. <laughs> Don't sniff them. <laughs> we'll get the whole Shire slammered. Your door's like a nipple on the side of the hill. <laughs> he's just really high. <laughs> 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 Hello, Gandalf. He's like, woo! What are doing? Oh, I won't. I wrote a paragraph for my new book. They just fucking get Martin Freeman and superimpose him over this too. I think that you haven't aged today. It's like Gandalf. You don't age at all, you prick. How <laughs> <laughs> rings of power do you have? I mean, he kind of de-ages in the second movie. His hair goes white, but he looks younger. Levels up. He multi-classes. It's the weed. Son of a dumbo! And, and that happened for realsies, right? I don't know. I Maybe. remember reading that he actually hit his head. I'm just always enamored by the fact that fucking Aragorn really did hit that real knife out of the air. This Lord of the Rings' production story is probably one of the most fascinated of all production stories. There's so many t like just tidbits like, and interest and love and care. Like, there's like, a real knife flying towards me, you're betting your ass I'm knocking that out of the way with my sword. I don't want that shit to hit me. He's very fond of you. He believes you're gay, Bilbo. <laughs> <laughs> you need to tell him. Oh god, here's the tonal quote. <laughs> but I scraped over too much bread. And that inspired Tonal Loke to make his YouTube channel. <laughs> it was in that moment that Tone Loke knew he had a calling. Uh, people ask me why I laugh at that, who don't know anything about EFAP, but it's like... <laughs> it's too much to explain. The finest weed in the South Valley. Yeah, boy! <laughs> Bill was like, did you see that too? Or am I just... <laughs> <laughs> Gandalf's like, check this out, bro. <laughs> Bill was like, the fuck? <laughs> I like to imagine that this is just their hallucination and this yeah. looks nothing like that. <laughs> it's just a cloud of haze around. Look how fucking dangerous this is. There's hobbit children everywhere. Good! <laughs> the weed fireworks are good for them. And then you hear the voiceover, it's like, Little did they know the war was coming. And then it just like, <laughs> it it, like scans out and there's some hobbit like, Gandalf, what the fuck did you just say? <laughs> it's like, I don't know, I don't know. Fucking the fucking Gandalf dancing up a storm. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea that Gandalf's just really high right now and it's like, this is gonna look awesome. He's just got a lit match in his fingers. Oh! Imagine he had like a heckler. There's like this one guy who's like, can't you just do this anyway because you're a wizard? Why do you do the fireworks? That's fucking shite! You're really a wizard, can't you just do it on your own? And he's like, shut the fuck up. What are they looking to do? Kill him? Like, <laughs> they want him dead, right? Well, well in the book, uh, they really want his home. And they're pissed off that he lived as long as he did because they think that they deserve his home. So what are we gonna do if they find him? Just beat him up? <laughs> I guess just give him a rough scolding too. I don't think you understand the fear that is struck into the hearts of all of the Shire when the Hobbit Mafia shows up at your door. You say that as a joke, but at the end of Return of the King, the book, the hobbits do like actually start killing people. Are you high? <laughs> <laughs> Man. They are really retarded. <laughs> There's a funny 
parody of those two, like, smoking weed at Isengard, and then everyone's just looking at him like, what the fuck, and Aragorn starts smiling, and it's like, Aragorn knows what's up. And I was like, that was my fucking payoff, you assholes. <laughs> those hobbits are wearing blackface. How racist of them. I hope they fix that in the TV show. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> He looks at his weed like, whoa. Yeah, like, he's like, oh, that's some good shit. <laughs> like, how like high am disappear I? before your very eyes. <laughs> I'll go home. Nobody should suspect me there. What if I'm angry? It's your fault. Dude. <laughs> Fucking Gandalf's like, dude, come on. I thought we were friends. <laughs> we got high together. Precious. Precious. <laughs> oh, it's like a bad yet. trip, man. You wizards are spooky. <laughs> Look, Bilbo, you're on acid. I know how to get you through this, buddy. The ring must go to Frodo. <laughs> it's like, I will corrupt my family member. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Leave my meth to throat. <laughs> <laughs> You'll teach him how to snort lines right in proper Gandalf. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, crazy long line. I always like the thud this has when he drops it. That thing is heavy. I also like how at this point we know nothing about the ring, but we know it's evil just by that. Uh, it's a spooky ring. All he wants to do is go see mountains and smoke that good shit. Yeah, he well, wants to get a rocky mountain high, man. Well, Gollum went insane. A misty like... mountain high? <laughs> 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 they should sell that. You guys want to know why they call it the misty mountains, man? <laughs> <laughs> I like how the new theme of our watch together is <laughs> drugs and dark <laughs> <laughs> This will makes a lot more sense if everyone's high. <laughs> <laughs> Seems to be purely solidified cocaine. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> cocaine! <laughs> <laughs> so of course Gandalf's like, man, that was trippy as shit. I'm gonna get higher. Oh, Helps me think clearly. <laughs> Oh, hey, cocaine! Gandalf's really <laughs> fucked up at this point. Gandalf looked the wrong way. He's like, where the fuck's that voice coming from? <laughs> Was that in my head or what? Bilbo's meth. Bilbo's ring. Bilbo's bathroom! I, you know what? It's funny how <laughs> casually he explains it. He's like, Bilbo fucking disappeared, Gandalf. <laughs> he's like, hey, he went to go stay with the elves. He's like, you saying he's dead? <laughs> like, no, 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 no. Oh, he went to the big uh, elf city in the sky. You can't visit. <laughs> I love how he goes to... Is it Minas Tirith he goes to? Yeah. To find out that this is like the fucking primo weed that no one knew about. And he's, he's like... And he walks out the door. Was that door always a fucking circle? <laughs> this is Sauron's weed. I don't know how you have it. Man, that looks so awesome. This vile shrub grows upon the rocky slopes of Mount Doom itself. <laughs> the weed police. The weed sentinels. <laughs> the weed police! <laughs> That's what happens when you, <laughs> when you smoke Sauron's weed. <laughs> the fumes of this unholy foliage will surely bring doom. But man, that ten minutes afterwards will be fucking crazy! <laughs> this is our weed collection, sir. <laughs> this is our finest weed collection. You have any information you on Sauron's weed? <laughs> We flattened it into sheets <laughs> and wrote stories. The ancient them. weed scrolls talk it's of Sauron's weed. Oh, I've never interpreted this movie as a fucking allegory for drugs before. <laughs> this is the bog. <laughs> the bog. <laughs> Preparation for his studies. This is definitely Gandalf being like, fuck, I should have looked into this so much earlier. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, the Hobbit makes him look like an idiot there, because it's like, hey, Gandalf, you should have known about this. I mean, what the fuck was it you? You'd be like, you may as well have a look. You'd be like, what is that ring, by the way? Like, Just out of curiosity. Gandalf, it, it's been 60 years. License you and looked. registration, please. <laughs> Dude, are our feet look like, super hairy? <laughs> you guys fucking remember when Bilbo disappeared at his birthday? That's <laughs> <laughs> man. What was in those fireworks? <laughs> <laughs> One guy's like, do you remember the dragon firework? And another guy just goes, DRAGON <laughs> FIREWORK! <laughs> Imagine being a fucking Nazgul trying to get information out of these people. <laughs> Where am I supposed to go? I'm sorry, who are you? 
<laughs> oh, are you here for Bill Bo's birthday? Dude, you have a raspy beard. voice. Are you like a smoker? <laughs> I think we're supposed to assume Gandalf has definitely taken something strong in this scene. <laughs> Can you imagine he's just like hiding in the corner and he's like, I'm gonna scare the shit out of Frodo. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't believe that door like, always was a circle. Secret. It's insane. <laughs> it does look like a fucking crack at him there. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, throw it in the fire. Are you not just Have to me melt that? mess. This, this old dude just came, broke into your house, scared the shit out of you, and threw your stuff in a fire. <laughs> he kept talking about meth. <laughs> I love the edit where uh, as soon as it falls into his hand, it shows the shot of Frodo like losing his fingers. <laughs> it's quite cool. It cuts to dead of Thor on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Mount Doom is just a giant oh. bong. In the language of Mordor, every word is the N-word. <laughs> Should you be smoking? <laughs> <laughs> it's like Frodo, pay attention. He's like, I don't know fire this is. This just seems to be all that you do. <laughs> I don't know that like, I should believe you. <laughs> this isn't Saruman like partially against the whole like, you fucking get high all the time? Yeah. Sauron's destroyed. <laughs> He, he, I think he says something to the effect of, like, the hobbit's weed has addled your mind. <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> My god, this is a new interpretation of the film. Sauron and Saruman, they're, like, just trying to get people to stop going crazy, but they won't stop smoking weed and losing their shit. The Lord of the Rings is a, it's really just a microcosm of the drug war. <laughs> what's the, um, what's the organization that's, like, against, um... Alcohol, uh, no, narcotics. And they're like the Christianity. No, the, <laughs> the Republican Party. The, the the people that Hank works for in Breaking Bad. Oh, DEA. DEA that's it. Yeah, the fucking Urukai, just the DEA. <laughs> Helm's Deep is like a big crack mansion. <laughs> <laughs> the caves are where they keep all the drugs. No one knows it's here, do they? <laughs> no one knows he's here, right? He goes, well, except Sauron, but yeah. Well, the Dark Lord Sauron. <laughs> also, <laughs> he knew that you stole his weed. It's like, you gave it to me. He's like, you stole his weed. <laughs> <laughs> you stole his weed. I was just passing through. Take it. No, Frodo. You must take it. Don't tempt me, Frodo. <laughs> that, that has new Don't, meaning. I'm already struggling with enough addictions as it is. <laughs> I am literally on every fucking drug right now, Frodo. <laughs> All of the drugs are in perfect harmony and equilibrium in my blood. If I add another, it will all come crashing down. <laughs> this one is for you. <laughs> and besides, how am I going to smoke a ring? I stay in the <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> I cannot carry that which is unsmokable from <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you know, this recontextualizes Boromir, because now it's just like he's an addict who really is trying to get his drugs back. The one weed to rule the ball. One traveled the kingdoms of the world. The only thing that I haven't done to myself is the one ring itself. The ultimate high. <laughs> it's like when you smoke it, it makes you feel invisible. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you take your clothes off so it works. Like, all of that is bullshit. <laughs> you just feel the inter- Well, it makes sense since the Nazgul are like, Dude, you're not invisible, and they, like, poke him. <laughs> Sam's like, I want a bit of this weed. Every wizard should be able to defend his home with an assault-style stick. <laughs> what the fuck was he doing there? I forget. Just cut the grass under the window there, if you follow me. <laughs> I'll bet you were cutting some grass under the window there, you know, boy. <laughs> He's just stealing Frodo's weed. <laughs> this is Frodo's private collection. I like he literally leaves them in the woods. <laughs> the spies are everywhere. You'll be fine. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen the movies. You're fine. He's talked to Brandon Stark. He knows what's gonna happen. He turns the corner and fucking the Nazgul pay him. He's like, okay, where's the weed? <laughs> <laughs> well, that scarecrow's not really working, is it? <laughs> <laughs> It'll be the farthest away from home. I've ever been. Wait, so he you, you recent that? did he eventually did he come here before and stab Jared then walk away? <laughs> he was like, <laughs> I will not take another step. <laughs> he looked at the corn, he was like, mm, too far. <laughs> <laughs> he smoked some bad corn. <laughs> 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 He's had the PTSD ever since. <laughs> Post traumatic smoke <laughs> disorder. <laughs> That smile Frodo gave, he's like, we don't have to sleep. 
<laughs> oh, Gandalf. Who come to me for we? <laughs> Smoke rises from the monster. Smoke the rises. <laughs> All that money that you smoked on weed, you could have sure. bought a tower like me. I'm what so much amazing? better than you. <laughs> your love of the halfling's leaf. Don't be a dick. Has you clearly a tower, slowed mate. your mind. That line is pretty much perfect now. <laughs> Gandalf's just gonna substitute his high for drunk. Yeah, like he's, he doesn't like the alcohol. He's like, mm, <laughs> this isn't my thing, dude. <laughs> like, you got any weed around? <laughs> he like looks at the cup. He's like, so you like drink this with your mouth? You must become yes. more sophisticated, Gandalf. <laughs> Been watching it on television. <laughs> This is like a good news report like, from a helicopter over Mordor. We're back here at Isengard News Chopper 7. Imagine being Saruman and thinking that they're about to get the ring now. <laughs> but no, dude. Awesome. If you drink wine, you gain telekinesis. <laughs> <laughs> this battle's pretty much just the epitome of stoners versus alcoholics. Don't insult my beer. <laughs> Weed would prevail. They lay on the floor forever, both of their heads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in reality, right now they're both just really drunk and high. <laughs> <laughs> With the like power of stoners. alcohol and weed, <laughs> I <laughs> condemn you. <laughs> <laughs> but the doctor said not to mix medication and alcohol. That's that's I the big that's the, the big reveal. Saruman has been taking both. <laughs> Gandalf's like, no! I need no prescription. Gandalf spinning on the floor is just a visual representation of what it's like to be high. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's he's alone in the room just spinning. The <laughs> <laughs> Saruman doesn't even exist. <laughs> He's just really, really high. Gandalf went to like an empty warehouse. <laughs> He's describing his story to everyone. They're just like, who's Saruman? <laughs> Oh, you broke the weed! I'll have to smoke the carrots. <laughs> mushrooms! Oh no! <laughs> Magic mushrooms! <laughs> oh no, not shrooms! Oh no! Dude, that's gonna make so much sense with how Frodo sees the, sees the road. <laughs> Our adventure is about to get crazy! He's like, Frodo doesn't want it because he's already had loads. And he's like, dude... <laughs> Dude, the road looks trippy, man. <laughs> it works fast. Get off the road! <laughs> and now they're all experiencing the same trip. Oh my god, there's a ghost demon on a horse. <laughs> it's just a dude, like, hello? <laughs> He's like, where'd you guys go? I saw you picking mushrooms. Mushrooms work fast. <laughs> <laughs> Time for the meth. Uh. The purest of weed. <laughs> oh my god, imagine these four just being really high, wandering around in the woods thinking that someone is chasing them when there's <laughs> nobody there. Randomly coming back to Gandalf spitting on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> He's just yelling in the room, Ah! Sam and I must get debris. Brie Larson? <laughs> He's, got the, He's got the shrooms, I hope he makes it! <laughs> what you're doing is illegal. <laughs> <laughs> this is an illegal border crossing. We know you took the mushrooms. <laughs> this is like a meth village. <laughs> this poor crazy old dude's like, huh? Oh. <laughs> They're really short. It comes in pints? Oh. I can get you one. And I was gonna be pissed when he finds out they're drinking alcohol. <laughs> you have been corrupted by the enemy! <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to end up like Saruman? And they're like, who the fuck is Saruman? What his right name is, I've never heard. He's not dangerous at all, he's just really high, and he's like, look at those little people. <laughs> <laughs> they're actually, he's like, no one over there, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> this is them reacting to a call, it's like, there's a man naked running around in a, in a pub. You know, this is a trip. Oh yeah. He looks down, it's not his ring, it's just a fucking half-eaten mushroom in his hand. <laughs> Who are you? 
you frightened. That's a weird name. Oh, <laughs> and he has his little sleeping hat on. <laughs> <laughs> Downstairs, I can hear the music. <laughs> <laughs> a it's bunch of dudes a, in a corner. The, the, the last one's got a big boombox. <laughs> <laughs> they are the Nazgul. Ring wraiths. Neither living nor dead. How have you come to know this, are you frightened? I think a servant of the enemy would look fairer. Feel fouler. It's foul enough. Aragorn's like, I can fucking hear you guys. <laughs> Jesus. Down, like, they're talking to him. They're like, do you trust like, this Aragorn guy? <laughs> 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 the fuck? What about second breakfast? It's just really got the munchies at this point. <laughs> yeah. He's literally like carrying a, a human corpse and he lays it down like, I found his food. <laughs> like, what I the have fuck? Never, I've seen these movies more times than I can count and I've never seen these subtitles before. Who is she? There's no one there, Frodo. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Frodo, who are you speaking to? I'm speaking to Are You Frightened? Speaking to Are You Frightened? <laughs> oh, did I hear landscaping? <laughs> Dude, how did I get up here? <laughs> <laughs> Last night was fucking crazy. <laughs> There's not even like a ladder. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man, good joke. <laughs> Let me in, man. <laughs> you got me. You're real, right? <laughs> I, oh, just we'll carry, I just carry this shit around with me, in case I need to arm four hobbits at any time. <laughs> they called me crazy for carrying around all these swords. <laughs> Smell the weed. <laughs> oh my god, they're walking straight through the, the mist. The weed has no effect on them. What monstrous devilry is this? <laughs> they're immune to the plumes, Frodo! He just falls over. <laughs> The ring will make me invisible. I can't see me. Aragorn, defender of the weed. How the fuck did he lose sight of Aragorn? Also, holy shit, that stick stayed in his face really well. <laughs> it just went right into his eye socket. He needs elvish medicine. <laughs> he needs, I got you elvish medicine, my dude. He needs some of that uh, herbal ointment. Elrond's got the purest of weed. I think Frodo complains that he's had a really rough time at Gandalf's like, Have you ever been so high you <laughs> thought you were on a fucking tower? <laughs> he's so lonely, he's gonna talk to animals. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm a friend! He meets in Rivendell and has to explain to Frodo what it's like <laughs> to go spinning around on the floor when nobody else is there. When he's flying on the eagle, he's just rolling down a long hill. <laughs> Because he <laughs> fell, he's just like, wah, wah. <laughs> Like from Hot Rod when he was yeah. falling down the mountain. <laughs> it's really just a bunch of black people working construction and that he has to tell people like, Hey, there are all these monsters that were making all these horrible things. It's like, Gandalf, those are just black dudes. Gandalf, you're really racist. <laughs> Gandalf's like, have you seen how they make black people? <laughs> <laughs> Despite being only 13% of the orc population, uruk account for 50% of the birds. Kings will allow to weed. It may help to slow the poison. Hurry. <laughs> <laughs> Good that I, I know you know of it. I found the weed. Aye, it's a weed. Everything's a fucking weed to you. <laughs> She's like, are you frightened? It's like, I think he went to go get Kingsfoil. <laughs> it's very rude to switch languages in the middle of a conversation. Like, dude, she's just fucking rambling right now. There are five wraiths behind you. Where the other four are, I do not know. No, those are hobbits. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Arwen, those aren't wraiths. <laughs> The rates are smaller and much less dangerous looking. I will meet you in Rivendell, are you frightened? Tight hard. <laughs> what are you doing? Those racists are still out there! Those racists are out there! <laughs> <laughs> the worst things than racists in Middle Earth, Samwise Genji. No, it's not possible! Everything I've been told! They're trying to destroy our weed loving 
culture. We cannot allow this. This is the DEA. Pull over. <laughs> <laughs> Pull your horse to the side of the forest. Please release the child. <laughs> <laughs> We know you're in possession of some powerful weed, ma'am. So this is bong water, then. <laughs> They're like, no. <laughs> it's corrupting water. <laughs> is the dark interpretation of this? She's just on the floor spazzing out, going... <laughs> I've summoned a cloud of smoke so thick it is like water. <laughs> <laughs> the DEA have been vanquished. <laughs> she, she trapped them in a hot box. He's like, I'm not. Can we keep going? <laughs> now we get to tell him about what spinning on the floor is like. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone back to smoking his weed. <laughs> you know what I learned from my experience? <laughs> <laughs> you can learn a lot spinning on a floor alone in an abandoned castle. <laughs> screaming into an empty room. There is only one Lord of the Ring. And he does not share. Power. There you go. Gandalf's whole reason for not joining the alcohol squad is that there's not enough of it to go around. <laughs> 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 what a terrible time to hallucinate a falcon coming to rescue you. <laughs> He's just falling <laughs> off the tower and Saruman's like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> he slaps he into really the ground like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> he really just crawled all the way Ooh. back. No. <laughs> now they're just remembering a trip. <laughs> <laughs> he like legitimately doesn't actually remember how he got here. <laughs> <laughs> like all of a sudden Gandalf's like, oh, Frodo, you're here. <laughs> Elrond just well, found Gandalf <laughs> crawling around in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh, she's like, oh yeah, an eagle flew me here. And he's like, oh, an eagle <laughs> flew you here. Yes. Elrond just nods and he's like, I know what's going on. Don't worry, buddy. <laughs> I got Go We're gonna it. get you healthy, buddy. <laughs> when Bilbo says hello for he's like, Jesus Christ, what happened to you? <laughs> I finished it before the arthritis set in. <laughs> these are just scribbles. These aren't words, Bilbo. <laughs> what? He doesn't have the heart to tell him that it's all just babbling bullshit. <laughs> Everyone just goes along with it. a big, it. like, dick drawn on one of the pages. <laughs> <laughs> they, they print and put it in this circle. <laughs> 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 it's, <laughs> the publisher was like, it's a really good drawing. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> all of these are a top down view. That's all my okay. child's <laughs> <laughs> That one's based after yours, Frodo. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's just like, I really want to get back to the garden so I can smoke more weed. It's legal here, so the thrill's just not there anymore. <laughs> Fucking hell, it was illegal in the Shire. <laughs> Everybody was doing it. <laughs> like the cops, the judge, the mayor. Sauron's forces are massing in the east. His eye is fixed on Rivendell. <laughs> He's like, wait, Sauron is real? <laughs> <laughs> it is. And you're, you're Elrond, right? <laughs> <laughs> like from that movie. Have you, that movie? Have you met Saruman? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, do you think Galadriel knows of Gandalf's little excursions and random warehouses? I tried to tap to his mind, but it's all hazy. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot see his memories. This is fucking, this is Narcotics Anonymous, this whole place. <laughs> <laughs> the time of the elves is over. My people are leaving these shores. Why? So they're probably like, people are smoking way too fucking much. Y'all turned a hobby into a lifestyle. It's fucking the weird. Do <laughs> <laughs> so you think this weed interpretation might make the Hobbit movies good? No. Make them worse. <laughs> <laughs> Is he reading Bilbo's scribbles and dick drawings? <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think it's in code. I mean, it's a sword, but... Yeah. <laughs> I love the idea that he just, like, ran his hand, his fingers along the edge of the sword and was surprised by the fact that it cut him. You need more pieces than that to reforge that thing. I'm really bothered that he didn't put it... Why? It's at an angle, unlike the rest of them. Fucked up, Aragorn. Aragorn, move it a little bit. It's bothering me. My OCD's kicking in. I remember it. I looked up and asked you your name and you said... Are you frightened? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
my god. In Return of the King, he looks into the Palantir and looks at Sauron and he's like, Are you frightened oh, yet? You cannot give me this. <laughs> She's like, I just did, dude. <laughs> it's in your hand. Say it again. Are you frightened? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck was that, dude? Never before. <laughs> yeah. voice oh, everything. fuck! That reminds me of the Hobbit, where they're like, "Go and find Aragorn at the end." He'd be like five it's years like, old. Aragorn would be like a ten-year-old at that point. <laughs> Gondor has no king. He's right over there. Must do this. <laughs> they're all just like. <laughs> <laughs> The fact that Gimli says you have my axe and his axe is broken currently. He has a spare. He has He's motherfucking like, ten axes. Every good He's like Aragorn, but with axes. Axe. He has four hobbit axes. <laughs> yes, in case I need to arm four hobbits. <laughs> alcohol, no weed. Alcohol, no weed. No alcohol. Animals. And then the one guy in the corner is like, math. Math is good. <laughs> <laughs> you were dramatic, like, I will take it, they all seem to just agree. Imagine what guy was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody else? And my axe. He did have another axe with them. Yeah? <laughs> what he the keeps fuck? it in his beard. <laughs> he broke it. You can, he, you can he, see he, the shards of it right he there. Took, he took the other guy's axe. But only you have the power to wield it. No one else can pick up a sword? Doesn't look that heavy. It's funny, in the books, he's got the sword around all the time. And when they go to Rohan, they can't take their swords into, like, the big castle, right? And he looks at the guards and he's like, None of you touch this. Otherwise, it'll be unworthy. And I like to imagine that as they were in there, one of the guards looked at the sword and was like, You don't want to touch it, buddy? They fucking ruined it. It's <laughs> something pretty and shiny. Now quickly, take off your clothes. Quickly, <laughs> and dress for me one last time. The weed. <laughs> oh my. Oh my, you've grown. You wear it around your neck, that's... I'll, oh. have, I'll have to add an epilogue to my book. <laughs> <laughs> like the scariest part of all three films. <laughs> I remember being freaked out when I first saw that as a kid. Such a powerful part. strain. <laughs> <laughs> the Fellowship awaits the ring bearer. Do I say go? <laughs> He's like, wait, that's me? Oh, shit. <laughs> Last time I saw it was like a few weeks ago. <laughs> Fucking hell, Wolf, you're slipping. I was on vacation. I don't have a Blu ray player it with me. Should be me. on your phone. You can't Fucking watch the Lord of the you Rings on your phone. phone. Yeah, you should have a phone dedicated to it. Yeah. No. Like, this, this is my phone I use for, you know, my Lord a of the phone, Rings phone. And this is my phone I use for the Lord of the Rings. It's, it's like, who the, who the hell watches movies on their phone? Degenerates? You on vacation? Those are the no. two factions of people <laughs> who watch movies on their phone. <laughs> Thanks. They did more training than Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Mary and Pippin did more training than Ray. Mate, she sliced a rock in half. What more do you need? She fucked up with a rock. <laughs> this allowed her to defeat the elite guard of the leader of the First Order. She <laughs> gets paralyzed. <laughs> <laughs> Sarbot has like a little speaker through them, but he's like, I can still see you. I can see you. My crows can see you. One of them lands right next to Sab, like, hey. <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> Gandalf didn't look like he was hiding all that well. <laughs> <laughs> he was again spitting on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they reported to Saruman. They were like, we just saw this old dude spinning around, and he was like, oh, there he is. We must take the path of- No, Gandalf, no. We're not going up there. Fuck that shit. <laughs> I've never smoked, <laughs> but I wish to start with the strongest. <laughs> so it's so fucking weird that they put this scene in that implies Boromir might not be completely trustworthy, and then later on, He's like not trustworthy. Like, why didn't they just pull that out of nowhere? Like most things do these days, whenever they want characters to do things. Yeah. It makes more sense for humans to act illogically. No, this is straight up cocaine. Weed smokers are not not ready for something as powerful as this in terms of cocaine. They're <laughs> just buried in cocaine. We have only minutes until it kicks in. <laughs> Quick, tie yourselves to rocks. <laughs> You're covered in Gimli. Cocaine. <laughs> 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 Gandalf's like, I know the kind of weed that's in those mines. It's not good. 
Can they have a stank weed? <laughs> <laughs> well, only the most mellow of mushrooms grow in the deep of the mine. The trips down there are fucking nuts. <laughs> <laughs> we will go through the mines. So be it. If I was Frodo, I'd be like, unless there's something you know that I don't, Gandalf, is there, is there a reason why we shouldn't go? <laughs> He's like, no, no, it's fine. No, no, it's fine. It's your choice, is. mate, you know? Yeah, it's all up to you. I'm just, yeah. I'm down for whatever. It's all yeah. cool. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, if you see the weed, don't touch it. <laughs> the first time in my life, I'm telling you, if you see the weed, don't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the dankest of weed. Dwarf doors are invisible when closed. Your invisible door shit. <laughs> <laughs> Gandalf's like just a little high right now. He's like, oh, look at that. <laughs> look at the glowing symbols on the wall. Everyone's just staring at him. He's just really, really impressed by the door. <laughs> yeah, I will open it. He gets on the ground and starts spinning. The moonlight revealed the door. Like, it was always there, dude. Yeah, he just pulls out a book. Aardvark. <laughs> Apple. It's gotta, it's gotta be one of these. <laughs> bye bye, Bill. Bill will never know the joy of the shrooms found deep within the world. Clean enough hentai to know where this is going. <laughs> just like everything else, this is a terrible trip. He's just thrashing around in the water. Blow like I swear! <laughs> that really was a shitty door. Yeah, all it took was a giant squid monster to destroy it. Mm hmm. I think we magical dwarves would, uh,. Have something better it's than that. Not the door that's shitty. It's the ceiling. Gosh. I'm not a. I'm not a contractor. That's what I don't gets make you. That's things. what gets you. There are older and fouler things than orcs in the deep places of the world. Like a Balrog. Like a Jew. <laughs> hey, you're not allowed to say that. The Jews are a protected class. Not in Moria. I do not operate by your your Earth rules here in Middle Earth. So where's, like, lower and upper earth? Below middle earth and on top of middle earth. It's like layers of middle earth? Yeah, it's like yeah. a cake. Middle earth is like a weird cake. <laughs> um, it's like a weird cake sitting on top of a big weird grave. <laughs> I never told him, but its worth was greater than the value of the shire. Frodo's like, holy shit, I'm rich. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck am I doing on this stupid jetty? <laughs> Where do I go? <laughs> this, is, this is him finally coming to terms with the... Uh, I think the weed has <laughs> damaged my brain. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Saruman was right. It really has slowed me a bit. It'd be funny if one of them just had the words, you know, like, exit and an arrow put on it, and he's still trying to figure out what what's what. Gandalf, there's a little person oh, just oh. running around down there. There's something down there. Gandalf Fringy is following us. <laughs> <laughs> He can't escape. Bring Daddy G. <laughs> he comes from a dark, low part of the world. Well, you know, in the books, Gollum is kind of described as looking a bit froggish. This is the original Froggle. My heart tells me that Gollum has some part to play yet, for good or ill. Still, like a premonition that Fringy's channel will come back one day. Maybe. <laughs> channel will return. For good or evil. I cannot say. <laughs> It's that way. <laughs> it, it just took him like an hour to, for the high to calm down. <laughs> turns out this is actually the wrong way. They just cut past that bit where they go back. <laughs> they try all three exits. <laughs> we spent an extra 12 days exploring each tunnel. <laughs> Funnily enough, in the, the third age, you get to that point in the map, and uh, one of them's a dead end, like immediately. The other one goes to this like little room that has some stuff you can collect in it. But, like, it's just an obvious one way to go. If that were true, like, that was the map in this world, they could have just sent one of them to go look in the three directions and figure it out. And one of them came back and, like, I got some sweet loot, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't equip it, though. Fuck. Gandalf takes it. It's the sword that allows him to fight the Balrog. No, only Barathor can have it. Barathor? Yeah. Idriel, Elagost. Don't forget Hadhod. <laughs> Hadhod fucking missed all the time, and it drove me insane. Hadhod, Idriel, and Barathor were the best, though. <laughs> it's as I feared. It's like, did nothing else give it away, Gandalf? Everything's dead here. <laughs> it's Bilbo's book! <laughs> What's it doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, Amazon must have delivered it. <laughs> 
I remember seeing this in the cinema for the first time. That shit was so fucking loud. I sadly was too young to watch these movies in the theater. It was like, you could feel them, yeah. every clank. You were just like, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> when even Gandalf's like, dude, you're retarded. Sound just starts back up again. <laughs> god damn it, Pippin, I told you not to smoke the weed here. I thought if I thought if I made you hold my stick in my hat, you wouldn't fuck things up. <laughs> Sacrifice Pippin, quick. <laughs> Accept his offering of flesh. Man, imagine Sam was straight up splattered there. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ! Poor Balin. <laughs> Oh, fight scene is so fucking good. I think you pointed it out the last time we watched it together, like how all of their fighting styles are completely different. God damn it, Frodo, stop getting stabbed! This is the second time today, and people are curious as to whether or not he's having an orgasm from it, or if it was pain. <laughs> I think there might have actually been a Lord of the Rings edit where someone's like giving him a blowjob during that. <laughs> You can tell Legolas was really happy with that. I get the kill. 3,000 XP, boost. sweet. I'm 1% toward my next level. Achievement unlocked. <laughs> Troll Slayer. No one else gets it. You gotta <laughs> hit the killing blow. They all got the assist achievement. He's like, yeah. yeah, well done, guys. Good job. Good job, man. You did it. You should be dead. It would be funny if there was no Mithril moment in this entire film other than here. We'd be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, where the hell did you get that? Uh, you know, if Ryan Johnson directed this movie, then Sam would have definitely been splat, and uh, <laughs> yeah. Frodo would have turned into a shish kebab. And then, like, evolved into the Balrog, and it's like, you wouldn't expect it, though. <laughs> <laughs> God, I was like, you guys are seeing this too, right? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to check to make sure this one... This like, one's I'm not real. this one time, and I was so wrong. The Balrog is possibly one of, if not the coolest fucking fictional monster that there is. What, what comes close to the Balrog? What's a, what's an awesome movie monster? I mean, what Godzilla, comes close? King of the monsters! Shut the fuck up, Godzilla, Rex. there you go. <laughs> <laughs> also, you know what makes me sad? What? The fact that they had Oromir said that the little ones would never survive Kahadras, that he was teaching them to fight, that he takes them through the jump by here, and he dies for them later. Such a nice little small story. When I was a kid, I used to think that Boromir was like the shittiest person I made, like in the entire movie. I, I think that's I, a like, fair interpretation. Most of the, I think I, I, think I came away not liking him at first. Yeah, but like now, when I like see what he tries to do for the hobbits, like, I'm like, oh, he really does care. He's a good character. He's a good man. It's just like Lord Man. Could you imagine Ryan Johnson saying, "Yeah, Lord of the Rings was okay for its time." I think I might actually like hunt him down. <laughs> And Boromir's the one that catches Sam, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can follow Legolas and Ghibli's story throughout all of the rings as well. It's like these movies are really good. It's like you got a bad taste in movies if you don't like them. <laughs> it's like you need to be killed if you don't like them. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's not me that said that time. Oh, That's I, the kind of thing that I read, I read it online. That wasn't my quote. I read that somewhere. It was, it was yep. <laughs> Gandalf and the rest of them are like, we're gonna go? Good luck, guys. <laughs> Gandalf's like, don't jump, there's not an eagle there, trust me. <laughs> if you see an eagle, don't trust it. Okay. <laughs> I learned that the hard way. My nose is still broken. <laughs> <laughs> I broke my hip in 14 places. <laughs> okay, I have to be seeing this shit on my own, right? This isn't real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Gandalf's like, I prepared for this all my life. <laughs> How does that not look amazing? It's so fucking cool. <laughs> it's so awesome. I'm like really jealous of Tolkien for coming up with this because it's like, how do you beat something like this? The, the fucking design of it too. It's fucking awesome. And the name as well, Balrog. It just sounds cool. Yeah. As Gandalf falls, someone grabs his head. It's like, sorry, buddy. Come on. It's <laughs> just like, oh. It can't be. Any, it can't be any deeper than the tower I fell off earlier, right? <laughs> <laughs> After an hour, he's still full and fuck. <laughs> <laughs> They're really only sad because Gandalf had all the weed. <laughs> and he knew where to get all the hat. best weed as well. We had like 16 grams! He knew all of the greatest strains. <laughs> <laughs>
How will we ever survive without him? Oh yeah, and Boromir says to give him a moment as well, eh? Yeah. This is quite subversive too, because Gandalf was the kind of character you'd be like, they wouldn't kill him! Fucking kill steals and levels up. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Legolas is upset. He's like, <laughs> He still lives the dungeon by himself. <laughs> Legolas thought that the cave troll was the dungeon boss. <laughs> he doesn't get the loot. The <laughs> Gandalf's Boy, really happy this. about it, opens fucking the chest, and it's a fucking bow. Still on his back. <laughs> fucking all the rest of them get like blue weapons and cloaks, and then Gandalf comes back and he's like <laughs> an orange or something. <laughs> yeah. A legendary <laughs> Aragorn's that one player that's running ahead to be like, okay, I'm gonna be the one that gets the boss first. Middle Earth would make like a really great, like, open world RPG. Oh yeah, I mean, I kind of want one for Game of Thrones. At this point, it's like the only way to rescue the source material. <laughs> <laughs> there is a Game of Thrones Telltale game, but who the uh, hell cares about that? I played it for two hours and I was like, I don't care anymore. Yeah, I mean, it's a Telltale game. They're Really not even uh, able to constitute his games. I always feel bad for people who are like, Oh, I wish Telltale was still like a game. Someone was like, I guess, like, sad they went underground or whatever, but like, I just... I never thought they were that good, so I was <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> These are projectile weapons, you don't have to be so close! <laughs> you bring great evil with you. <laughs> He's talking about the weed. I can smell it, it reeks! Gandalf warned us of towers. <laughs> <laughs> what now becomes of this fellowship? Without Gandalf, hope is lost. You guys got a spare wizard? <laughs> yes, in the broom closet we have many spare wizards. What do I see in the eye? Did anyone else just see that? <laughs> <laughs> Legolas carrying the holy bong. An elven bong, bong, they're not that forged powerful. forged a thousand years ago. <laughs> Has anyone seen my slippers? <laughs> She's culturally appropriating the hobbits. There's like a little mini fridge down there. <laughs> <laughs> there. I was a little peckish. Would you like some beef jerky? <laughs> <laughs> I want nothing more than to snap into a Slim Jim. Oh god, the holy bong water. It is liquefied. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> Frodo's like, you can see into the future with your little, with your little water pool, okay. <laughs> yes, but it's only correct 10% of the time. <laughs> I call it guessing. I don't know what the fuck Frodo's thinking at this point. <laughs> Taken by the dark powers. Tortured and mutilated. Are you telling me this, Dad? Ruined. <laughs> Terrible. Bring them to me alive and unspoiled. What does he mean by unspoiled? Virgins. Like, <laughs> like legit. <laughs> Do not cross the borders not, of the hot hurt. Unspoiled would totally mean don't rape them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that's, that's a good thing to do. It's like, like if, if Saruman oh, please, says that and Lich is like, don't, dude! Don't rape them. <laughs> <laughs> the other guy's like, what the fuck, dude? Why <laughs> <laughs> Why would you assume that? Why would you even say that? Why would you feel the need to say that? Like, I'm so just making look. sure, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the one, right? No, the, the one he throws. Stabs him in the leg, he takes the knife out, throws it in the air. Hey, 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 he licks it. it first, dude. Uh, oh, that's true. I hear that orcs <laughs> love the taste of this dagger in particular. <laughs> Maybe that was foreshadowing for the raping thing. <laughs> <laughs> like, why would you assume we'd rape them? I don't know, you lick knives. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you lick things very sensually. Your name is Slow Knife Licker. You see, that's like a... That's like a blue. It's a rare. These are uncommons. Oh yeah, those things are shit. He gives them all these like flowery names and stuff. And she's like, did we have anything else in the Lost and Found? <laughs> I use this to cut it. <laughs> Elven rope. It's like normal rope. But that's it. It's like it's like a bat rope. <laughs> Fucking Gimli gets loot so shit that he just scraps it and gets hair in return. I wonder if people could ever complain there's no payoff for the hair. <laughs> like he eats it and grows a foot. <laughs> it's like, <"Whoa." laughs> 
No, 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 like, he grows a foot. <laughs> He's holding it like... This foot Just a foot shall lead me into battle. <laughs> Gandalf wants to smoke it. <laughs> Can we just smoke your foot? <laughs> the Urukai pass through here, and she gives all of them, like, a thing as well. <laughs> She's like, and to you, Urukai 37, I provide this knife. <laughs> Let's a bow that is the bane of men. <laughs> He's like, wow. <laughs> that is fucking great. It's really actually kind. shit, it takes like four shots to kill somebody. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually like partially the bane of men, but hey. <laughs> Let's like, you giving us all the shitty loot? She's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> because you look at it and they're like, this looks kind of shitty. So Julia, the bow has negative five damage. <laughs> She's like, I was just... It's a healing bow. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking poor Frodo only gets Kool-Aid in a little glass bottle. Smoke it only when mouth. all other lights go out. <laughs> I asked her for one hair from her golden head. She gave me three. <laughs> like, I was like, no, that's really creepy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like you just go. The dwarf just goes into our fucking city, asks us for our body parts. <laughs> <laughs> It'll go nicely with my foot. <laughs> I'll wrap my foot in her hair. He ends up creating like an elf. <laughs> it's like this not monstrous thing. <laughs> ah, kill me. <laughs> They're literally running like alongside them on that bank. They're just like, we're gonna get you. <laughs> No oh, fucking Fringy's still following them. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you guys doing an EFAP? <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to help you. Let's, Let's go back to bed, I'm... Frodo. Come on. <laughs> you had some really good weed in your garden, Mr. Frodo. <laughs> I will not leave the ring within a hundred leagues of your city. Okay, shit. <laughs> Fine. How come you get to hang out with Frodo and I hang out with these two? <laughs> <laughs> Long have I desired to look upon the kings of old, my kin. Man, your kin were fucking tall. <laughs> they go past that big foot. Gimli's like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the bits were like a pupil. Love it. I suggest you take some rest and recover your strength, Master Dwarf. Recover my. Oh, the high one. <laughs> he just snuggles up on his foot and goes to sleep. <laughs> he didn't mean it. He didn't mean it when he said that. <laughs> it's annoying that Lord of the Rings came out this long ago and people are still not on board with the idea of like long form movies. Because it's all one big movie, really. I mean, people still go and watch these with uh, the live concert with Howard Shore. I want to do that one day. Fortunately, they're only theatrical cuts. But at the same time, it's like I'd love to listen to Howard Shore's score live. Fuck, what day is it? <laughs> <laughs> Did that what thing time? with Barbie happen? <laughs> Aragorn's like, well, I really do like the weed. Been a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> it's been like 12 hours. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite part of the entire movie right here. Fucking cool as shit. They won't meet up until the end of uh, Return of the King. See you in ten hours. Ah, <laughs> uh, such an awesome shot. I got my pizza just in time to watch Boromir die. Applies a small stun effect. <laughs> Low damage. <laughs> That's no damage applies slow. Like there's fucking ice arrows. It's more of a utility than a <laughs> <laughs> Finally one kill this game. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> if Ryan Johnson directed this, Aragorn's head would have been gone there. Yeah, and then he'd be a a alive in the next scene. You're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, real knife. Do you think that once once the uh, once the orc actor threw that shit, he was like, oh fuck. He <laughs> 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 was like, oh, thank god. I could just picture the, oh. the all of that shit for Lids, the way he looks and all the blood. He's just like, oh god, are you okay, dude? <laughs> I was like, oh shit, that's real life, fuck. Oh yeah. <laughs> He's having his weed dreams. <laughs> Sam, is there a wizard talking? <laughs> <laughs> I like that we kept the weed memes going the like, entire three and a half hours. Mr. Frodo, are you taking the weed? 
I'm checking that shit. <laughs> yeah, everyone knows that Sam is the real reason that this this actually works out. Unironically, he's described as that by most people, including Tolkien. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Imagine he was still alive and Tolkien was like, "Yeah, Frodo was pretty much worthless." <laughs> <laughs> what do you think he'd uh, think of the Lord of the Rings memes? What do you think he'd think of the movies? I don't know. I could see him disliking them family. just because, like, yeah, it's very means. special to you, you know, if you make that story. I know the whole Tolkien family really hates them, although, well, not the whole. There's, like, one dude who's who actually likes them, but he doesn't like the Hobbit movies, understandably. <laughs> uh, I think I mean, it's like, you know how long your dad's books were, right? <laughs> it's like, we've only got so much time. Like, altogether, they're pretty long when you put them all three together, but... The individual books are pretty short. And fuck, the Hobbit book is nowhere near as long as this fucking movie's. No. I would love to know what Tolkien would think of these films. I just don't- I think I'd have to brace myself for disappointment. Yeah. Frodo's fate is no longer in our hands. <laughs> they would be if we followed. <laughs> <laughs> just imagine them leaving Merry and Pippin. Just go home. Ah, fuck. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, they're probably dead. Leave all that can be spared behind. <laughs> what I mean to say is, bring the weed. <laughs> <laughs> this really is like the best cliffhanger ever. Oh yeah. So much to happen. So I'm much being going good. On. I was like, oh, see the fucking next plan. one. Everyone's got things to do. <laughs> you have to compare it to the Last Jedi. It's like, <laughs> there's nothing going on. That's the movie. We did it. Number one down. Yeah. Well, that was a 2001. Pizza. I know, right? Man, the <laughs> the quality hell, of that, man. that 2001 movie has better quality than, like, the vast majority of films today. It beats out everything from 2018 and 19 so far. It easily. Yeah, it wasn't that much of a... That's high quality art, obviously. Well, it was King of the Monsters. Oh, yeah. We're gonna have a... No, we're gonna have a weed break. <laughs> we'll return <laughs> in just a moment.